Hey guys, MichaelFools11 here, and today is another episode of the Crazy Craft 3.0 Let's Play. This is episode th 10. I kind of forgot it there, but we're all good. We're all good. Uh, today, we're just going to continue mining. I'm just going to, you know, try and gather up as many um, ores as possible. I, um,. I found these in the last episode, two blocks, two diamond blocks, it, you know, that's pretty crazy, because that gives me 18 diamonds total, um, and then I also found two uh, emerald blocks, which is pretty good, so, let's see, I'm, I'm not going to even try to mine those, because it's just going to be a trap, uh, but, yeah, I mean, overall, these, the ore spawning seems to be pretty crazy, pretty good, actually. Um, it's not really that bad, but this ravine I'm not really generally liking because I'm just really in a like a mine shaft sort of thing. I don't really. Oh, these are diamonds. No way. No way. Um, so right now I have I I'm, I'm nearing 30 diamonds. No way. What? No. No. This is crazy. And all these red ants are coming after me. Get the frick out of here. I got a critical on a red ant that has two health. It's really gonna do much. Dude, what the heck? It's like spawning inside of the block and disappearing. But yeah, I mean, I don't know what mod it is that gives me all this stuff, but it's giving me some good stuff. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about this mod pack. It's not too hard. And I was surprised. Yeah, I guess I had to mine these for sure. Oh my gosh, how are we gonna get out? Why is that not disappearing? That's really odd. But yeah, um, everything seems to be working out really, really, really well uh, in this mod pack. I just want to leave this ravine because it's not my favorite mining situ like uh, environment. I don't really, I definitely don't like mining in ravines. It's not, not fun at all. It doesn't like branch off really into other cave systems. It just really stays in one spot, and it the ores generally don't really spawn in a variety that's of likeness to myself what was that um but yeah I mean so far I'm liking this mod pack after 10 episodes I'm liking it a lot um you know I'm I still need to g do a lot more stuff in this mod pack like I just can't build mas machines and all that I have to I have to do at least something else like do quests and all that kill monsters but I mean for now I'm gonna have to First off, just kind of like upgrade myself. I, I want to get the, um, the Iron Man suit, which is definitely going to be pretty cool because of all the features that it gives me, um, or will give me. But I mean, see, here, here's the thing there are different um, suits. What? Why did it, like, oh, it actually spawns down a diamond block, but it just. Unless it's a glitch? I don't know, but I'm getting two diamond blocks here, or two diamonds here. No, it's actual blocks. That's interesting. Just gave me two blocks. Yeah. No, it's a red antral block. That's why. Okay. I was like, no way it's giving me more diamonds. I mean, that'd be pretty cool like if it would give you a diamond at the end, but that'd be very cheap because there are so many in this one, in this mod pack. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, I really want to get towards the Iron Man suit because, like I'm saying, with all the features it gives me, it gives me so much. Like, I have missile launchers and all that. The armor is unbelievable. It's a lot better than diamond armor. Um, and also, it has the jetpack thing that allows me to fly. So, <laughs> I definitely want to try to head towards that because it's going to be OP for me. I did try it out in creative mode. Uh, when I was testing out the mod pack, and it was unbelievably insane. It was really strong, and um, the armor was not much of an issue. Like I tried versing like this Pac-Man thing, it, it was it was not. I don't know. I would say if, if I was wearing iron armor or diamond armor, I'm pretty sure that it would have a chance at fighting me or beating me. But when I was wearing the Iron Man armor, it was not really even close. <laughs> it was pretty easy. Um, so, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to do that. Definitely gonna have to do that. And then I do also want to craft the, you know, the, the, um, planes and all that. As you guys saw maybe two episodes ago, 
um, that I did show the crafting for it. It's actually fairly simple uh, to make, um, but it depends on the thing you want, like the machine or the plane. Uh, but let's see here. Um, hmm, running out of inventory space. I do also need to craft the um, the backpack. I can. I definitely. Blah, blah, I definitely need to do that. Backpack will obviously allow me to carry more stuff. So as soon as I go up, or as I, um, I think I'm going to actually check it out right now because we're going to need to do this uh, eventually, and very soon. So backpack. I don't really know what it's going to be. Like adventure backpack diamond. Oh, whew. you need a lot. Silverfish? Like, I don't know if it gives me more space than others. <laughs> like, this is a standard backpack tank. Oh, so you really need a regular adventure backpack. But I don't know if you make a different one that'll give you special features or whatnot. But, let's see, yeah. I need the regular adventure backpack. I need gold, chest, bed, and then glass and iron. It seems pretty easy, but I do also need leather. So I'm going to get those from those cows that's kind of right above us. So it seems that it'll be a pretty fairly easy job just to get the original backpack. But if, if there are other special features that it gives me, if I create a different one, then I'm definitely going to have to do that. Like if it gives me more space. Um, if it gives me a special ability of where I can protect myself, then I'm definitely going to have to have to upgrade it. Because um, I definitely I definitely don't want to lose the uh, option to do that. Let's see here. I'm kind of running out of this pickaxe. Uh, I don't have any extra wood on me, so that is not good. We're going to have to head back up. I might as well head back up, probably, I'm going to actually explore this area over here. I know I'm right over the lava pool, but yeah, like this, I don't. I definitely don't like ravines. This is not good because it just keeps me in a confined area, but I mean, there are ores, there are ores around here. It's just not in a plentiful area. It's not that good. Anyways. Let's actually get this. I think that'll, yep, get to go. Um, and yeah, we're going to head back up, guys. Uh, actually, right now, well, I'll get this, if I can actually jump on this block. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm just going to collect this iron, or not iron, the uh, coal. Apparently, I am still able to use this pickaxe. But let's see here. Let's just head down through here. And let's head all the way back up, guys. So I'm level 29. That's actually a pretty good, pretty good level. Either I'll, I'll probably die once I head up. Nope. Come on. <laughs> and voila, we're back up. And it's nighttime. That's not good. It's not good at all. There'll probably be some monsters up and about. Let's see here, are there any ores that I can grab? I'll probably bring that. Black iron. And now probably I need to... Did I get rid of that? Yes, I did. Or I didn't. I did not get rid of it. Uh, let's see. Now, I actually could, if I wanted to, I could use a lava buck. A lava block, a bucket uh, to put into the furnace. Uh, you know, I could do that potentially uh, to actually smelt stuff never really thought about doing that until now not even in vanilla like I always use coal because it's the easiest thing to get but there's so much lava down there that I could have a potential to do that um, so yeah anyways let's head back in I need to create this setup here downstairs very soon because I cannot I, de I just generally don't want to have all these ores up here because as soon as I start packing up all of these it's just gonna keep on piling up and it's gonna get in the way and it's gonna be hard to transport all these down beneath so I need to do it very soon 
It'll probably be the next episode in which I'll do that, guys. In which I'll transfer everything downstairs. Well, maybe not everything, but a large majority of the stuff downstairs. And we will have the spousing room downstairs. I don't know if there are other furnaces that we could create. But if there are, then I'll definitely have to create those. Um, but let's see here. Iron in there. And the gold will go right there. And we'll just leave it there for now. Um, let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Let's see here, level 30, not, not bad. Not bad at all. Anyways, let's check out this weed farm. All these strawberries, these sheep look like everything has grown. Um, I could actually just start shearing these guys. It's probably a good idea to do, get a shear going. Go. What's up, Mr. Sheep? Lagging quite a bit over here. Boom. Boom. Thank you. And yeah, look at the grass. It's growing down there a lot. Uh, but these are just mainly from like all the sheep that have been eating it already. So that's good. We know that the grass can grow down there. We're up to 11 wool, guys. And we just have to... Breed them, let them grow their wool again, and we'll be good to go. Alright guys, that's that for this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. I will see you guys all in the next one. So, yes, goodbye. Mm -hmm.